Hey everyone! Today we're diving into a really important topic that affects nearly every part of your life. How to improve gut health. If you've been dealing with bloating, indigestion, or just feeling off, chances are your gut is sending you signals that it needs some extra love. The great news is that improving your gut health isn't complicated, and with a few simple changes, you can transform how you feel every day. So, let's jump in and talk about step-by-step -step ways to get your gut back on track. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Start with your diet. The first and most important thing you need to address is your diet. Think of your gut bacteria as little helpers that need the right kind of fuel to do their job properly. And the fuel they need? Fiber. Focus on eating fiber-rich foods. Fiber is like food for your gut bacteria. You can find it in whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and legumes. For example, try to add foods like oats, lentils, apples, and broccoli to your daily meals. These foods contain prebiotics, which act as the perfect food source for the healthy bacteria in your gut. A great study published in 2017 from the University of Illinois found that increasing fiber intake can lead to more beneficial gut bacteria. So, by simply eating more fiber, you're already giving your gut a huge boost. Add probiotics to your routine. If prebiotics are the food, probiotics are the actual good bacteria. You can get probiotics from certain fermented foods or from supplements. Incorporate fermented foods. Some amazing probiotic-rich foods include yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, and kombucha. These foods naturally contain live bacteria that can help replenish the good bacteria in your gut. For example, in 2018, a study from Harvard found that people who regularly ate yogurt showed signs of improved digestion and even had lower inflammation levels. So, adding just one serving of a fermented food each day can have big benefits for your gut. Cut back on processed foods and sugars. Now that we've talked about what to add to your diet, let's talk about what you should cut back on. Processed foods and sugar are two of the worst things for your gut health. Avoid processed and sugary foods. Highly processed foods like chips, white bread, and sugary drinks can feed the harmful bacteria in your gut, leading to an imbalance that can cause digestive problems. Excess sugar can also feed yeast and bad bacteria, which may cause bloating, discomfort, and even infections like candida. There's a reason that diets high in processed foods are linked to obesity, heart disease, and poor gut health. A 2015 study from the University of California, Davis, showed that diets high in processed sugars reduce the diversity of gut bacteria, which is a huge factor in maintaining a healthy gut. So, cutting back on those sugary snacks will make a big difference. Drink plenty of water. Staying hydrated is super important for digestion. Water helps break down food so that your body can absorb nutrients more effectively. It also helps fiber move through your digestive tract, which prevents constipation. Try to drink at least 8 glasses of water a day, and if you're eating a lot of fiber, make sure you're drinking even more. If you're dehydrated, your digestion can slow down, leading to issues like bloating and discomfort. So, keep that water bottle handy throughout the day. Get regular exercise. Exercise isn't just for your muscles or heart, it's great for your gut too. Physical activity helps keep your digestive system moving, which can prevent constipation and bloating. It can also lower your stress levels, which directly impacts gut health. A study from the University of California in 2019 found that regular exercise can increase the diversity of your gut microbiome, which is a sign of good gut health. You don't need to do anything extreme, even a 30-minute walk or a light workout can help keep your digestive system running smoothly. Manage stress. Practice stress-relieving techniques. Believe it or not, stress has a big impact on your gut. When you're stressed, your body can't digest food as well, which can lead to problems like indigestion, gas, or even irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. To help your gut, focus on managing your stress. Try meditation or deep breathing exercises. There's an interesting 2017 study from the American Psychological Association that showed people with high stress levels had more gut issues, including inflammation and digestive disorders. So taking a few minutes each day to de-stress can really help your gut health in the long run. Consider taking a probiotic supplement. Supplements can help fill in gaps. If you're not getting enough probiotics through your diet, consider taking a supplement. Look for a high-quality probiotic with different strains of bacteria like Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium. These are some of the most studied strains that are known to benefit gut health. A large review published in 2019 by the National Institutes of Health found that taking a daily probiotic supplement can improve digestion, reduce bloating, 
and even help manage conditions like IBS. So, improving your gut health is really about making small, manageable changes to your diet, lifestyle, and daily routine. It's not something that happens overnight, but with consistency, you'll start noticing changes in how you feel, more energy, better digestion, and even improved mood. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below. Let me know what gut-friendly foods you're going to add to your diet.